hard to imagine the Golden State Warriors without Clay Thompson, one of the organization's pillars for more than a decade. With his transfer to the Dallas Mavericks, we are all adjusting to this new reality. Since being drafted in 2011, Thompson has not only brought four championships to the Bay Area but also became a true icon for fans. How do you feel about Clay leaving? Let's talk about it. Recently, Steph Curry shared his emotions regarding this significant change. In an open conversation with Natasha Dye from People, Curry expressed that losing Thompson represents a real challenge. It's clear that the partnership between them has always been something special, a bond that was crucial to the team's success. Curry acknowledges that, while Clay's departure has been complicated, he still maintains a strong connection with his former teammate and is ready to face this new phase. Curry didn't shy away from the emotions surrounding this transition. He confessed that the situation is tough and that many may doubt the Warriors' abilities without Clay. The fact that people underestimate the Warriors is something I really appreciate, he stated. He seems focused on using this doubt as fuel to motivate the team during the next training sessions and throughout the season. He also mentioned the Olympic experience as something that is helping him channel his energy. This shows how determined Curry is to seize every opportunity to grow and lead the team, even in the face of adversity. With so many questions and skeptics out there, how do you think the Warriors will fare in the new season? The pressure will increase, but Curry is ready to take on the challenge. With so many changes to the roster, the Warriors will have to find new ways to shine. Will they be able to maintain the same level of competitiveness they've shown in the past? That's the big mystery for the next season. Leave your thoughts. We're all eager to see how Curry and his team will react to this new chapter. And are you excited to follow this journey? Last season brought many challenges and surprised NBA fans. The Cleveland Cavaliers finished fourth in the Eastern Conference, but after a quiet summer in Ohio, fans are starting to wonder, will the team be able to maintain that level? With intense movement from other teams like the Philadelphia 76ers and Orlando Magic, as well as growing pressure from the Indiana Pacers, who recently reached the conference finals, the Cavaliers' situation seems a bit more complicated than last year. Meanwhile, the Golden State Warriors also find themselves in a delicate moment. After a campaign where they missed the playoffs and with the loss of Klay Thompson in free agency, the team had to reinvent itself. Despite making some off-season moves, the Warriors still haven't managed to bring in a star to effectively support Stephen Curry. All eyes are on the potential growth of young talents like Brandon Podziemski and Jonathan Kaminga, but will that be enough to keep the team competitive? Now, the situation of Jarrett Allen in Cleveland is drawing a lot of attention. The Cavaliers signed a three-year, $91 million extension with the center, but rumors suggest the team doesn't plan to keep him long-term, as Evan Mobley seems to be the future in the paint. According to NBA insider Mark Stein, Allen could become a valuable trade asset, especially if the Cavaliers look to improve their defense and find wings that can help in crucial moments during the season. With the trade deadline approaching, do you think the Cavaliers are making the right move by considering this trade? Amid these rumors, the Warriors appear as one of the ideal candidates for a trade involving Allen. If the team exceeds expectations and shows strength in the league, the addition of a player like Allen would certainly put them back in the championship conversation. With that in mind, what do you think the Warriors need to do to stay competitive? Could Allen's presence be the missing piece to form a new dynasty in San Francisco? A trade proposal has been circulating, where the Warriors would receive Jared Allen, and in return, the Cavaliers would get Kyle Anderson, Kevin Looney, Moses Moody, and draft picks for 2025 and 2027. For the Warriors, this trade would mean bringing in an all-star like Allen to share the court with Curry, creating an explosive combination that could rejuvenate the team. On the other hand, the Cavaliers would benefit by recovering some of the draft capital they lost in previous deals and acquiring players that could meet their defensive needs. Kyle Anderson, for example, is an intriguing addition, not only for his defensive capabilities but also to help Cleveland compete against key wings in the league, like Paolo Banchero and Jason Tatum. Kevin Looney, although considered a weaker starter, could stand out as an efficient backup center, allowing Mobley to get necessary rest. The question hanging in the air is, do you believe this trade could benefit both teams? Let's discuss it. 
It's undeniable that Clay Thompson's departure from the Golden State Warriors represents a drastic change not only for the team but also for all NBA fans. Clay wasn't just an excellent player. He symbolized the resilience and passion that many hoped to see in their idols. Throughout his career, he did more than help win championships. He became a fundamental part of the team's identity. The reality of seeing him on a new team, like the Dallas Mavericks, forces us to reassess what we know about franchise dynamics and athlete loyalty. Stephen Curry, with his sincerity, highlights the weight of this transition. His words resonate deeply because he truly understands the essence of the partnership he formed with Clay. This bond wasn't just about passes and points, but about a chemistry that transcended the game itself. Looking ahead, it's admirable how Curry uses external doubts as fuel, but will it be enough to keep the Warriors competitive? The pressure may be immense, but it's in moments of adversity that the true strength of a leader is revealed. In comparison, the Cleveland Cavaliers situation adds an extra layer of complexity to this scenario. While the Warriors try to reinvent themselves, the Cavaliers must decide what to do with their rising talents and the figure of Jared Allen. The possibility of trades could completely change the course of their seasons. In this volatile NBA environment, any decision could be the key to success or failure. In conclusion, this is a moment of reflection for both Warriors and Cavaliers fans. How does each of us adapt to these changes? What impact will this have on our expectations for the next season? I want to hear your opinion. What are your hopes and concerns for the Warriors without Clay and for the Cavaliers with the rumors surrounding Allen? Leave your comment below. And if you're as excited as I am to see how these stories unfold, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for the channel. Let's follow this new dubs journey together.